KSDS has been in existence since uh, 1990. We have placed dogs with 558 individuals. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for volunteers. It's the heart and soul of our organization. Dogs can help you with stress, anxiety. They give unconditional love. No matter what, they're going to love someone for whatever you've done. No, it doesn't matter if your shoes match. I was very active in my community and active in church, but it ended when I started going blind. When Josh was 28, he had a brain aneurysm and a stroke. He was paralyzed on the right side, has some cognitive issues. He was in the hospital, he was in a coma for six months, and of course afterwards our life was turned upside down. Well, physically I was in the hospital for about seven months. I've been rehab, or rehab for, or for six, seven months. When I started here at KSDS, I did it because of the dogs. I loved the dogs, I loved everything about them, I loved what they could do. Going through the whole process, I do what I do here at KSDS is because of the people. When Debbie pulled up in our driveway and opened the door, Marco jumped out and came right over to me. And we've been buddies ever since. First came as I was knucklehead, and then I was like, thing. Probably by the time I was just a few, the next day, he's all licking me in the face and all that. And yeah, that got lost for work sometimes. <laughs> He takes care of me, probably more I take care of him usually, but... They try to match the dog up with uh, their person's personality, which they are a perfect match. It still makes me cry when I see them together. He guides me, he protects me. A lady was watching us, and some days later we ran into her, and she said, watched you cross the street. You were getting a little frustrated with your dog. And I said, yes. She said, well, do you know why he wouldn't go? There was an electric car going through the intersection. I couldn't hear it. Because when I had a cane, I walked, put the cane down, take a step, put the cane down, take a step. Well, damn, I just walk one foot after another, just keep on going. You have to put yourself in that person's shoes. You mean, every single dog is different. He's got some responsibility, and I think at the end of the day, he probably feels like it gives him a purpose, too. I look at him, he's sitting, sitting right next to me, and all that. Uh, he falls behind where I go in the house. We can call Annette any time and if we have any question at all. Uh, the staff was great. They helped me want, like if I needed one-on-one -on -one training or interaction. It's been a great deal for me because it's given me my independence. I don't know how they do it, but they, they, they got to be dog whisperers or something. I, you know, I just don't know. Everything to the uh, recipient is free. For people like us, we probably could not have afforded a dog if we had to purchase one. So any donations that we ever can get is greatly appreciated because it helps giving someone the independence that they need. We need to be able to keep this organization alive and going because we've made 557 people independent again. And I hope that we can be in business to do 10 times that many people.